Hi, this is Debbie. I'm with Debbie Stair right here on my blog. And this is Fiskars Friday on Thursday, we hope. This is take 5001 because I'm doing something that's a little bit harder. But I think it will make it easier in the long run whenever I can get through this. Okay? We're going to revisit our Fiskars border punches. Um, this happens to be the threading water. Each one's going to be slightly different, but I ask you to experiment with it. But I'm trying to figure out an easy way to get around the corners, you know, instead of cutting this, cutting that, cutting, cutting, cutting. But I need you to notice a couple of things. See the, um, there's a protruding place right here, a lip on either side. I'll hold it at an angle. See that? You can see it right here. And then there are grids down here to help you make different designs. They're in one quarter increments. But this piece right here corresponds with one of the grids down here, which will help you go around the corner. I have a three by three sheet of paper that we're going to try. I've done this in one inch increments, and I think that's probably the best is one inch. At least that's what I've been able to discover so far. So I'm going to bring you down and see if this will be take 155. Okay. <laughs> all right. All the way down. I'm going to insert my 3x3, three three, and you'll notice I've got it lined up with that piece there and the grid at the bottom. So let's just take a shot at that one and go around the corner. Okay, let's flip it. Watch me flip. Flip it upside down and turn it to the side. And we're going to line it up again. Same place, same grid. And we're going around the corner. Ta-da. See? We've gotten, to, we've gotten one corner now. So what it was in like this. So the problem is, is this is too far away. So what I want to do is put it back in there. Don't flip it yet, but put it back in there. And I want to make one more punch. So I'm lining up, because I can't see it out here, I'm lining up the uh, punch holes all except one. Let's see if you can see at an angle. So I've tried it other way. See there the one that I am going to punch? So they're all lined up. They should be fine as long as it is not past. Matter of fact, it's actually lined up with that little piece right there. Don't slip, because if you slip on this one, you will know it. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to line her up. This is like lining it up with the pattern. I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on it to keep it from slipping. Okay. All right, let's punch down on it. It's going to feel funny because you're only punching one hole. All right. So you see that we have that right there. Let's turn it around upside down. No, let's go back over here. I need to punch out one hole over here too. So let's do that while we're punching the one hole bits. Okay, that is lined up. And I'm going to hold it down. Some people can just mush it with their fingers. I am not young and sturdy like that. All right, so we've got that one lined up. Again, remembering not to get um, past these little lips whenever you do that. So I believe I need to turn this one upside down. And if you don't mind me sneaking a peek, because I don't want to do this again, <laughs> I'm going to see how it lines up. Hey, guys, it looks good. I can't believe it. But you should be able just to line it up here and back to this grid line without even looking. So, ta-da, we should have a very good second corner. Yay! Okay. So we've done our second corner. And I want to flip, come down here. Put this back where the grid is at. Again, I'm nervous because I've been doing this. And let's see if I'm lining it up correctly. Get it right on there because, it, you know, you slip and do and you're going to have to play with it. Oh, it looks good. See, I, I get to play with it. Remember those papers come loose and everything? Oh, okay, I've got it pressed down so it won't move. Let's see if we can get around corner number three. I feel like the racehorse is here. Ta-da! We got around. Corner number three. Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. Okay, I'm going to flip it, and I believe this side needs another punch. So I'm going to line it up. Ta -da 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 -da. There it is. Oops, I think I need to turn it back this way. You can tell whenever you line it up if you've got it in the right side or not, because it will not line up. But see, that one lined up. And I'm just wanting to punch it one more time in the corner that we haven't done yet. So it's lined up just like you do the pattern piece here. It's just there's no pattern that I can see. 
going to put it down here and pressurize it. That felt good. Now well, let's see. I'm going to flip it, turn it back up against that grid line here and the lip. Oops, I'm not far enough over. I don't want to mess this up. I am going to check it real quick because, like I said, I've been doing this and doing this. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I think it might be working. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's see if it does. It should because I just heard a little teeny tiny deal. It happens when you're doing things. Just give it a little punch back. You haven't broke it. Oh, I need to do one on this side too. Okay. Let's flip it on this side, line her up also over here. So you can tell when it's it's lining up properly. Okie dokie. Let's see if we can get... See, they're just lined up. But your piece is actually down here. I keep wanting to do it with my fingers, and I know that I shouldn't. See, I just did a shouldn't. All right. A little bit stringy around because of me. All right, let's see what we got here. One, two, three. Look, and it's just being a little bit fuzzy with me. I did that when I cut. I don't know whose line this is. Okay, so we've got four corners. Ta-da! So I'll show you one of the things that well, I just real quick made so you can see my little 3x3. Three three. Um, there's Ancy. It's Fiskars Limited Edition um, Squeeze Punch. And I love Ancy. If you're going to any of my crops throughout the summer, you're going to see a lot of Ancy. I'm in love with this guy. The other thing I did is I used the Soli, a Soli, Soli, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. I am so sorry. But it's, again, the limited edition Fiskars Punch. This is the Sun Punch. And what I did is I punched one out, folded it over, and snipped it in the middle. See, I'll show you. Cut one out. They're way over here. I know it. You guys know how to punch them out. This is two-sided paper. And I just folded it over, like so. so. You have a flat bottom. Right in the middle, I'm going to give it a little snip. You can make a big snip, little snip, however you want to do it. And I basically, so you can see the slip, and then I just turned it in as much as I wanted to give it that 3D effect. Taped it in the back with scrapbooking tape. And then I just added... Um, some rain dots. Oops, down here. I'm really not good at this. Okay, so I added some rain dots and some Cloud9 um, stitches and a little bitty flower. So I can add it to a card, a layout, or just hang it up here just to remind me how much fun it is to scrapbook. I want to show you the um, Scalloping Daisy Punch. Awesome, awesome punch. Beautiful. You can see the design there. It has the same idea of the lip there. All the border punches do. And it has the grids. Except this time, instead of coming down straight from the grid, I'm going to move over one and start my punch. And that will give me a better area to turn it around the corner. That's the reason I said you need to experiment a bit with these because each one of these are just slightly different. All right, I've got that first punch. And we'll flip it over. And these are embossing punches, so I'll show you to you just a minute how it is. And I'm going to, I am going to flip this over because I want to be careful that I don't have trash in it. I'm going to make sure it lines up. But it is exactly where I wanted it to be at. So I'm going to punch it again. I love this punch, but I want you to see... How awesome it is to go around. Again, it's just fuzzy there. Look at that corner. Holy cow. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, and that was one quarter inch to the right, my right. Okay. Let's do an e ticket today. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hang out with my granddaughter and my uh, children way too much. <laughs> no, I don't. I love them to death. I need to spend more time with them. But I love spending time with you guys, too. Say goodnight, Ancy. Night, Ancy.